Hey everybody, in this video in the Linux lessons class, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to extend an LVM. What we're going to do is we're going to add space on the root partition and we're going to do it live on a live system, this Red Hat or this Rocky Linux 9 version. So the first thing we want to do is let's, let's take a look at a few things. So what we want to do is do an ls blk and here we can see that the sda2 contains the root file system right okay that's where and it's on an lvm so that's a linux volume manager so that's where the slash is and the swap is on there too so that's on that partition, SDA partition two. Okay, so once we know that, we're gonna look at the LVM details. And to do that, we can do sudo L or P, PVS, which is the physical volume, sudo PV display, so this gives us the physical volume information, right? The 49 gigs, this gives it to us in a PVS, just gives it in a quicker summarized format. Same thing with uh, LVS, which we'll run next, sudo LVS. And if we do sudo LV display, Similarly, we get the information about the root partition, the root logical volume. So that's the physical volume, right? SDA2. We know that. The volume group name, RL. And that's when we're, now we're going to look at the volumes. So the command for that is sudo VGS. So this is the volume group. So there's the physical volume, the logical volume, and the volume group. Those are the three things. And we can do a VG display right here. Okay, so VG display shows us that the volume group name is RL. The volume group size is 49 gigs and all of it is allocated right now, nothing free. So you can see that, nothing's free. All right, so let's get into uh, growing this partition. So first thing we have to do, we want to get grow part. So let's look at this. Pseudo DNF what? provides grow part. And of course you can't type DNS because we want DNF. Okay, so it looks like cloud utils grow part. So let's make sure that's installed. So let's do sudo DNF install cloud dash utils dash grow part dash y and let's see how long this is going to take looks like it's super quick which is great okay so we installed that now let's uh let's take a look at what grow part can do. So grow part disk partition, rewrite partition table. So partition takes up all the space it can. So that's what it does. And you can do a dry run. So that is very good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in. So the underlying hardware, the hard drive needs to be expanded. So to do that, we'll go to vSphere. And this is the Rocky Linux. 
server that we're doing. And you saw 49 gigs, right? So let's go to edit settings. And there you see it, 50 gigs. So what we'll do is we'll take this up to 60, 60 gigs and say, okay. So the virtual machine will be reconfigured. Let's go back to where we were. I'm going to clear the screen. So the partition that this is on, if you recall, if we do a pseudo PVS, the physical volume is dev SDA2. Okay, so what that means is, and, and let's take a look again at, let's see what we need to do here. So what we want to do, and let's take a look at our commands here. So let's run, let's see, df-h. So here we can see this is what we want to expand. So it's about 44 gigs it's showing because that is the logical volume root rl dash root. Okay, perfect. So let's do grow part. And this will be dev dev SDA. There it is, dev SDA, because that is the disk that we want to grow. Partition number two. And we want to do, we're going to do the dry run option. So we're just going to do a minus N. And of course, you cannot do that. So we have to do sudo. So it's giving us a no change. So it's not seeing that extra space yet. All right. So we have to figure out how we can get it to see that extra space. So let's take a look at what we have. All right, so we have to have it read and be able to see that disk space that we added. So what we're going to have to do is go sudo su. We're going to go into root and we're going to do this command. Echo one into sys block. SDA device rescan. And what this this should do is rescan the SCSI bus and see that there's a new size. So we're exit back out. And now if we run sudo grow part dev SDA2 with the dash n, now we were seeing it. So here here you can see the extra space now should be here so it's going instead of to this block on the disk up to this and type 83 type 8e 8e is linux lvm you can see the first sda1 not affected that's the bootable one 
SDA2 is affected, and that's when we're trying to in, trying to grow. Okay, perfect. So now that's good. We're back back on target. So we just needed to rescan so that it would see the increase in size. If it doesn't see the increase in size, we're not going to be able to run this. So, okay. So now all we'll do is we'll run that without the da the minus n, and we'll see what happens. So now the partition has been changed. We're still up, still running. And now if we do an ls blk, we should now you see SDA has grown to 60. And SDA2, you can see 59 gigs. So there you see that's a difference. It's grown the 10 gigs we gave it. Okay, we can also look at the physical volume, pseudo PVS. And you can see that the physical volume here is still 49, right? So that has not changed yet. So that's the first step now. Well, that's one of the steps. The second step, maybe the, I don't know what step this is. We're going to do a PV resize. So we're, we're going to make that physical volume PV resize. Dev SDA2. So there it says one physical volume has been resized. Let's let's check. And there we go, 59 gigs. So that has increased the physical size. All right, so now, now we're going to look at the volume group, VGS. And what you can see here, this volume group, RL, that's our volume group. It now has... 10 gigs free. So if we do sudo vg display, which gives us a little bit more information. There you can see before we had zeros down here for the free PE. Now we have space. So that's good. So the next step is going to be to extend the physical volume. So let's say df dash h. So dev mapper, that's what we're looking at. So dev mapper rl dash root. So this is this is where we're going to extend that. So lv, so lv display. Let's look at that. And of course, you can't do that. And you can see it's dev rl root. So we can use the dev mapper. Also, that's the same thing. If you look at df dash h dev mapper rl root, you can use that, and that's what we're, that's what we're going to use. So we're going to do an lv sudo lv extend dash r dash l plus one hundred percent free. So that will give it the full amount dev. And what we want to do is dev rl root. I don't know why that's not auto completing for me. 100% free dev rl root. That actually, that looks fine. Okay, so we're going to use the dev rl root. We're extending this lo logical volume. So right now you can see the logical volume size is 44 gigs. So let's run this. So here we can see it changed it from 44 to 54. So now if we do a LV display. What you can see here is 
the root is now 54 gigs. So we've extended that by 10. Okay, so now, now we should be able to see this, that the dev RL root is now 54 gigs and available 51 gigs. So there we've extended the amount of space on that file system. So yeah, so it's, it's really just getting a handle on the physical volume, the logical volume and the volume group and understanding how they work and just taking it one step at a time to really expand a drive and this is expanding the root volume on Linux, Red Hat 9 or RHEL 9 or Rocky Linux or CentOS, any of them. So I, I hope that's been helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.